All right, guys, back again, part two of our four-part special. As a huge thank you to all of you guys for uh, getting us to 50 subscribers. So we're going to start with a couple code cards here. Oh, hope you got to see all of those. Um, as I said last time, we're going to do these 10 packs at a time. We started with 40. We opened up the first 10 we did get a rainbow rare if you're curious which rainbow rare we get i would invite you to to go back and look at uh look at my channel the previous one is on there six seven eight nine ten if you were curious what rainbow rare we pulled it was fast and furious coming at us so we did sword and shield base set so tonight we're going to jump into darkness ablaze and again guys thank you so much <clears throat> 50 subscribers and counting it's been a pleasure. Um, it started out just being a fun thing, and I'm still very new to this, so I don't want to get carried away. But I've got to say, that's just, it feels great. It's humbling. It's cool. I'm enjoying the heck out of it. So hope you guys are having a good time with it, too. And let's see where we can take this thing, huh? <clears throat> All right. Was it the first pack magic that we, uh, we got our rainbow rare in the last set? Let's see if we can double that. So we... Marked off the list of getting a rainbow in Sword and Shield, but we still haven't pulled a rainbow in Darkness Ablaze yet. So let's see if we can't turn that around. All right, let's so get these organized. We're still on the hunt, too. I've seen there's lots of social media posts and other videos on YouTube of... The Hidden Fates box is coming back in Walmart, and I know it's probably region-specific, and they're not going to hit everywhere at the same time, but what I've, uh, I've, I've gone to any and every Walmart within, you know, 30, 40 miles of the house. Vickavolt V, beautiful. That's a great start, huh? Centering off a bit. I forget if we have this. Did we pull that? Now, I, I pulled a couple off screen last week, and I think it was Toxtricity V. So I think that's a new one that we can add. Very nice. Um, but as I was saying, I've gone to, you know, every Walmart within the metro area. And I'm not seeing them anywhere. Usually, if, if they get released, there's been times you walk in and there's one box left. So maybe it's just something where in the, in the coming weeks, I just, I know they were planning a reprint of the Hidden Fates here in September now. So... I wanted to hopefully get a jump on those before, uh, what is it called, Champion's Path? Something like that. What is that new one coming out on September 25th? Because uh, I know that's going to be the hot commodity. Um, if it's anything like Dragon Majesty, those cards show up and then they disappear. I haven't been able to find very nice many uh, Dragon Majesty packs. I've only ever pulled the one. It did uh, get us a... Full Art Blaine's card, Blaine's Last Stand, which was amazing. And it actually came in like a three-pack bundle from Target, one of those you know, aftermarket ones. Which, when we went into Target to get these for our four-episode special, I actually didn't see these. There was one row of them, and I snagged everything they had left. It happened to be 20 packs. Um, it was kind of back in the corner, you know, Target stages their Pokemon cards in a few areas. I love it because you kind of just go on a hunt. But if we hadn't found those, what I have found is they started their, their third market packs again, where uh, you get three hollow or three packs, and let me just adjust this. A little. You get three packs, and then a uh, bonus hollow card for ten ninety nine, which isn't too bad a deal. And then if you you know kind of shake the little cardboard pack around, you can kind of see what's in there, and um, it looks like team up has been added. So that's one of the sets where we don't even have enough cards to throw it into a binder yet. So if I hadn't found these, I think we were going to go big on those three pack sets. But these are around and I told you guys before, I'm a sucker for a deal and these have been great to pull. It's a good set. We still have quite a bit to pull from Darkness Ablaze. So, all right. <clears throat> Let's see if we can't turn this around here. Although that Galarian Darmanitan might be a new one. I know there's Still some regular rares that I don't have in that in Darkness Ablaze. I mean, it's kind of shocking considering how many we've pulled, but I'd say that kickoff four-part episode was great. I'm hoping to 
find a way to keep this going. So, all right, we've cooled off a bit. Let's warm it back up. Am I seeing something on the back there? Let's see what we got. Starly, Ariados, Santa Scorch V. There we go. We've pulled two V Max Santa Scorch. I think one off screen, but definitely one on screen. And then recently we pulled the Santa Scorch V. So that's a great card. Um, I actually like using it in Sword and Shield. I actually like and enjoy playing the games on the Switch. Um, big Shiny Hunter. Um, I haven't talked about that in a while. I haven't been doing it too, too much lately, but the last few times I jumped on the Switch, we've had pretty good Shiny luck. Um, we were doing the knockout method in the wild area for Machop and got it at about, I want to say like 320 encounters or something. So that was pretty quick. Followed that up the next day and got uh, Shiny Growlithe via Masuda method in, I want to say maybe 120 eggs or something. So it was kind of just one of those where for anybody shiny hunting, you kind of get in the groove and you're doing, you know, other things, watching a movie or something because it's repetitive, doesn't take a lot of brain power. And it kind of surprised me that it came that quick. So I don't know what to do next. If any of you guys are shiny hunters and sword and shield, give me an idea. I have quite a few on there. Before that, we got Shelder. We were trying to do a lot of the... First gen, not a lot of first gen. And then on Sor um, Sun and Moon, Ultra Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. I'm doing the uh, soft reset in our, um, what is it called? Uh, where you go flying through the wormholes, uh, Ultra Space. And we've been trying to go for uh, Thermosa for quite a while. It's, it's off and on, but I've got to be six, seven hundred soft resets in. So. You know, I might jump into that again. Those are easy. That's just something where you can usually be playing the Switch and hitting that at the same time just because the soft resets aren't too bad, especially if you hook up uh, or uh, usually wrap a rubber band right around the uh, left and right keys on top of the um, 3DS, and it makes resetting really easy. So you can knock out, I think I timed it, you can knock out almost three full soft resets in a minute. So... You can really get through them quick, but for some reason, I just haven't been able to get that one shiny. <clears throat> Thermosa shiny doesn't change much. If you remember, that's the real thin Ultra Beast. And it's mostly, it almost looks like she's just wearing a black dress. So it's kind of cool. Um, I'm excited for that. We just haven't got it yet. So. All right, guys, we blew through these ones quick. All right. There's that for you. Let's see. Can we get a little final pack? Good fortune here. All right, go chew. Oh my, I'm going to change the camera angle next time I see it. Keep catching some glare. Darmanitan. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. Wasn't quite as exciting as our kickoff, but again, 50 subscribers in counting, guys, and a couple more good pulls. So if you've enjoyed this, I would invite you to uh, always hit the like button. Uh, consider subscribing if and it's probably a far way off if we do get to uh, 100 subscribers I'm thinking of doing a giveaway with a bunch of code cards where we would communicate via Twitter or something and I'd snap a screenshot with 9 10 code cards and send them directly to you guys so you know it'd be kind of fun I know that's kind of what interests you guys so keep an eye out let's keep it rolling and thanks guys see ya